Today I'm going to talk to you about conduit shrinkage. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. Today we're going to talk about conduit shrinkage. I've been getting a lot of questions, you know, and emails from, from you guys asking, what about shrinkage? Are we going to add shrinkage? I know in one of my earlier videos I talked about, you know, we'll add shrinkage in at another time, which we will be doing more videos. I'm actually working on more conduit bending videos, adding a Chicago bender and how to bend, how to show some different techniques of bending offsets when, hey, maybe you just aren't 100% sure what to do. So we're, we are going to be working on some new videos. At the same time, what I want to do is a quick little video today on explaining what shrinkage is and what it actually does. So um, we'll be able to just kind of go over the logistics of what it is. I know when you guys go through school, you're basically taught, okay, you know, I'm going to bend a four inch offset and, you know, you got to deduct, you got to add your shrinkage so that when you make your bend and your pipe gets smaller, you actually still can go over the obstruction. Now, most people, they'll do is they'll just bend their offset, make it a little bit longer and then cut it to fit. Now, is that wrong? No, it's not wrong. You know, we do that a lot in the field because a lot of times, guys, we don't want to do the math. But if you understand, if you understand shrinkage and what you need to add to it, that's great. Now, if you're just a 30 degree bender, you don't have a lot to worry about. You just have to remember what the shrinkage is, figure out how many inches you're going to be using and go from there. So I'm going to show you on the board, you know, what degree bends we're talking about, what our multiplier is, which most of you guys should already know anyway. And then we'll talk about the shrinkage that goes along with it. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the shrinkage. We're going to go over the different degree of bends. Okay, so we have some bends up here. 10 degrees, 22.5, 30 degrees, 45, and 60. Now, if you watched, if you've watched my videos, you know, they're going to be kind of popping in and out. Um, you know, if you watch my previous videos, I basically show you how to bend the conduit and where to make your marks. You know, I give you the discussion on where your A mark, your B mark may be. I show you how to bend a three point saddle, four point saddle, how to bend an offset. You know, go watch those videos and then you can add your shrinkage and then practice on it on your own. If that's what you really want to do, okay? I typically, like to bend my offsets at 30 degrees. It's an easier pull, it's a better transition. 45 is also a good common one that I use. Um, your 22 and a half, you're gonna use more for your, um, for your saddles and things of that nature. But again, even like for me, if you watch my other video, you'll hear that my four point saddle video, I love to bend it at all at 30 degree. It just makes life that much easier because my multiplier, which we'll talk about in a second, is only two. So, you know, remember, degree of bends that you're gonna use, you're gonna add that, you're gonna make your marks, okay, according to what you're bending. Your offset, you're gonna need two marks. Your three-point saddle, you're gonna need three. Your four-point saddle, you're gonna need four. Remembering where shrinkage is, shrinkage is gonna come into uh, play when you're looking about going over. So when you measure from the end of the pipe to the center of your obstruction, now what you're going to do is add your shrinkage onto that. We'll talk about that again in a second. Here. We go over the multiplier now. Now, the multiplier is very important. It's something that most electricians should know right off the bat. If you're a novice at this, that's fine. Uh, just remember that, you know, you can find all this information online. Uh, you can find it in um, the description down below. Uh, this way here, guys, if you have any questions, we're, first of all, email me and I'll explain it a little bit better. And like I said, eventually we're going to do, I'm going to do a video that actually shows you how to bend, uh, bend the conduits. Okay. But our multiplier for a 10 degree is six, two point, uh, 22.5 is going to be 2.6, 30 degree, which is my favorite. I'm going to bend it at, my multiplier is going to be two, 45 is 1.4 and then 60 degree is 1.2. Now when I'm figuring out my distance. So if I have a four inch height, I'm gonna measure out, I'm gonna multiply that by two, meaning from my A bend to my B bend, 
I'm gonna have eight inches of distance between it. Now, again, like I said, if you've watched my other conduit bended videos, you're gonna know that that's what we're talking about, okay? So let's get into shrinkage. Okay, so now I've got shrinkage. So now what we're gonna be talking about is not the shrinkage you're thinking, okay? But shrinkage, so if I'm using a 10 degree bend, if I have 10 degree bend here, I'm gonna take 1 16th that I'm gonna add to it. So if I have a one inch offset that I wanna do, I'm gonna add a 16th of an inch to my first bend, meaning when I measure from the dummy end to my first mark, I'm gonna add a 16th. So let's say I have center of my bend is 12 inches. I'm gonna go out 12 inches. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go 12 and a 16th. And when I bend up that one inch offset, it's gonna shrink in a 16th of an inch. When I have my 22 and a half degree bend, which you can do a 22 and a half degree offset, okay, for every inch that I am going up, I have to add 3 sixteenths of an inch. So for 30 degrees, it's a quarter inch. So if I'm gonna do a four inch offset, okay, I'm gonna add an extra inch because I have four. So I'm gonna do one quarter, one quarter, one quarter, one quarter. That's gonna give me a complete inch. So if I have a four inch offset or I'm my, that's my center of my bend, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, I'm gonna actually make my first bend at, or my first mark is gonna be at five and then I will measure the eight inches in between because what's gonna happen is as you bend it up, that conduit is gonna start to shrink, okay? So remember you pull up that first bend, conduit gets smaller, okay? So if I have to be out 12 inches, I have to add another inch on because as I bring it up, my conduit is gonna get smaller. For a 45, it's gonna be 3 eighths for every inch we, go, we, we have of rise. And then for a 60 degree, it's gonna be a half inch for every inch of rise. Now, what do we do with this information? Let's put it this way. This information is important for you, the electrician, because it, it takes out that step of having to cut the conduit, all right? Now, in the future, I'll be doing videos of conduit bending and using the actual shrinkage method. I hope this helps as far as explaining what shrinkage is. I know there's been a lot of people asking me, you know, hey Craig, what is, you know, shrinkage and how does that pertain, you know, or you forgot the shrinkage. If you watch my videos, I tell you in it, we'll talk about shrinkage in another time. Guess what? This is another time. Okay, so what we're doing is we're just talking about the distance of shrinkage. So when you look and I have the, I'm going to have all this information in my description. I'm going to have all this information in my description on the degree of bends, my multiplier and what shrinkage it is per inch. So again, like I said, we'll use quarter again. If I'm going to, if I have a four inch rise, I've got to add a quarter inch for every four inches. So you're going to take the quarter inch multiply it by four, that will give you one, so you'll actually make your first bend at five. Then you'll measure your multiplier, which is two, and then your distance is four, multiply that by two, you get eight. So the shrinkage is added to the first bend, the multiplier gets added to the second bend. I hope this video helped. If this video helped, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. As always, if you haven't subscribed, I mean, we, we just hit 2,000 subscribers. You know, I can't thank you enough for the support you guys have given me. You know, I, I'm doing everything I can to, you know, produce a video every week and kind of go through as much information as possible. I love it when you guys comment. So if you want to leave me a comment down below, that's great. You know, if this helped and it makes makes sense, please leave me a comment. If you're still not 100% sure, you know, be nice and just leave me a comment saying, hey, you know what, this really didn't help, I'm still confused. If that's the case, then I'll make another video. It's very simple. At the same time, if you haven't subscribed already, please do me a favor and subscribe. You know, let your friends know. Um, at the same time, have a great day and be safe.